Hi guys, Rich Page, our Jemton Timber Frame Company, Made Timber Framer. I want to take a couple minutes today to talk about sharpening circular saw blades. I put a couple uh, threads on, I think it was Facebook, looking for some specific blades. I got some feedback and I said to myself, you know, it might be worthwhile to do a little video on circular saw blades, maybe show you the, some of the things that we do when we sharpen them. So let me get to it and show you what I wanted to share. So a couple things on the saw blades that I've, that I've noticed, and I'm not sure everybody is aware, I had this picture on, I think, on a Facebook post. But these are some of the different tooth configurations that you can get on a blade. So whether it's a chipple, uh, excuse me, triple chip grind, you can see what the tooth, the different tooth configurations look like. If you come down here, you can see a combination blade. You can see down here, alternate top bevel. You'll find that a lot of the uh, blades that you get at the box stores might be like this. Or you might find, or actually what I'm looking for is some flat top grind blades so that I can do some ripping cuts uh, where the teeth on the top are flat. Let me show you a little bit more about these. This is another, another download. Uh, this is the alternate top bevel. You can see what your kerf is going to look like. Uh, here's another one. This is for the flat top grind. This is what you're going to get for a kerf. Uh, same thing with a combination blade. Look at what your curve's going to do. Look at what your different blades are. And you're going to see that this is a, a full top grind is interspersed. So that's a, a different type of blade. And then you're going to find a triple chip grind. Same thing here where you've got this uh, different tooth here. And this is what your curve's going to look like. So if you're not familiar with the different types of blades, if you go to the box store and you say, hey, let me... Uh, let me get a, you know, a 14 tooth blade or a 24 tooth blade or whatever. What you really want to also understand is what the tooth configuration on the blade is. So if you're not aware of that, hopefully this will give you some sort of idea of what to go look for. And uh, it'll, you'll get a better, you'll do a better job selecting the blade you need for your job. So without a lot of ado, this machine right here is a Foley 310. Uh, let me see if I can't swing over here and show you what it is. So this is a Foley Foley 310 machine. You can pick these machines up on Facebook Marketplace. You can pick them up on, in my area, Uncle Henry's, uh, Craigslist. Uh, back in the 70s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, people had full-time jobs just sharpening and grinding. We got to the society where we throw stuff away, so this kind of went by the wayside. But these machines are out there and available. So I've had this one for quite a while. We sharpen our blades here. You probably get two or three, maybe three or four sharpenings on every blade, and then we throw them away, too. Uh, when they're done. But here's the machine. Uh, pretty straightforward. If you'll notice up here, I've got a light. Let me get the light out of the way. So I put an angle finder on the top of my machine. So right now, my, my, you can see the angle is going down minus uh, 2.8. Uh, and you're going to say, okay, well, I should be at around three. But sometimes you've got to be more clever than the machine. So on one side, here's where the motor is. And then you got to say, okay, well, what's my blade at? Okay, now you're going to see over here, I'm at, see my angle going up is uh, about a 0.2, might be 0.2, 0.3. So now when you take that together, you're going to say, okay, now you can say I'm at about 3.0, whoop, eh, zero back out, uh, where, I, where I want it to be, about three degrees. How this machine works, you've got a couple stops. This is a back stop here. So when you slide your machine back, if you only want to go back so far, what the important stop is, is in the front here. So when you look at how far you bring your tooth in, you don't want your diamond wheel, and it's only diamond on the back side of the face. I'll show you that in a second. You don't want the diamond to come in and sharpen the steel. It's not designed to sharpen steel. It's designed to sharpen the carbide. So what you're going to do is you've got a little set point here. You'll bring it in, touch off, and then you'll set this down. So this will, will only allow it to go in, and you set that just enough to go in and only hit the carbide. So coming back around on this side... When you look at the wheel, this is the only carbide. You can see this little maybe three-eighths of an inch. That's all the carbide that there is, That uh, excuse me, all the diamond that there is that sharpens the carbide. I'm going to set this back. I'm going to go do two or three teeth and show you what it looks like. Um, you probably, uh, you'll probably figure out that it's going to look like that for the rest of them. Uh, but let me do a couple teeth, and then I'll see if I can't get a picture of what the teeth look like uh, when you touch them off. All right, let me set this down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to move my light. Let me see if I can move the light and still not have it in your way. Okay, and we're going to fire this baby up and do a couple teeth. I like to put a mark. You'll see I put a mark right here in yellow. I got a little paint marker. So I'm going to spin it around past my indexer. And I'm going to start off on that too. So when I finish, I know that I've gone around it one time. 
Ready, clear prop, let's turn the baby on. And you're gonna find this is a Marathon Motors run smooth as silk. We're just gonna go in. We're gonna make a tiny adjustment. Just until we touch off on the tooth. And that's all you wanna do is just touch off on it. Okay, we've done a couple teeth. Before I do a million teeth, I like to go in and take a look at what the grind looks like. Let me adjust the, the light here. And I'm gonna bring the camera around to show you what it looks like. All right, so if you can see, let me move the light just a little bit here. You can see where we touched off on the tooth. And you're gonna see that with this blade, and somebody had already sharpened it before me, that it's not hitting the whole face. So what I'm gonna do is take off this little amount that I'm taking off now. I'll come back over here, make an adjustment to take off just a thousandth or so more, and that will clean up this blade. But I hope it gives you an idea a little bit about circular saw blades, a little bit about the teeth configuration. And I think as you're going along, the more everybody knows about the blades, how to sharpen a blade, what a good sharp blade looks like, and how you get one, it just makes us better at our craft. Give me some comments, click like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.